Greetings everyone, Pastor Adrian here from Adrian Young Christian Ministries International. You may WhatsApp or call me at 1-876-418-3424 for bookings and for baptism. 1-876-418-3424. Also, you may go on my page and just press on that YouTube button and it will take you on my YouTube channel. You can subscribe, like and share it. Hallelujah. Hit that notification bell so that whenever, whenever I post messages, you can, you can get the notification. I'm going to be talking to you about something that I have researched. Yes, the correct formula for baptism. Is there a correct formula used for baptism? Now, there are two formulas. Both are correct. There are two major formulas that are traditionally used. And both formulas are correct, so don't allow anybody to confuse you about these two formulas that are used. The, the first formula that the Christian use, right, the correct formula, it's a matter of interpretation among Christian denominations. So the formula for baptism is a matter of interpretation among Christian denominations, right? So it's a matter of how you interpret it. However, the most widely accepted formula is I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, which is found in Matthew chapter 28, verse 9. This is the traditional form formula, and it is correct. If you are using this formula to baptize anybody, you are not wrong. Okay? This is a traditional formula formula used in baptism. This formula is based on the great commission given by Jesus Christ to his disciple before he ascended to heaven. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And, you, and that's uh, Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and 20. So if you're using this formula to baptize anybody, you are not wrong. Another formula that persons use, and many persons have been debating about this formula, which it, it, which it is not wrong, as well as what I have previously mentioned, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it is also not wrong. It is equally effective, just like the formula that says, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit based on, uh, based on the Great Commission. Or you said, like what this Apostle Peter says, repent, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This is not um, something, ladies and gentlemen, that contradict what Jesus says, but it is something that follow up on what Jesus has said. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 8, verse 16, note that, uh, you, you, if you note know this, they had only been baptized in Jesus' name, which isn't wrong. Hallelujah. Acts and uh, another point to take note, another point to consider is Acts chapter 10 and verse 48. He commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, that's what uh, the Trinit uh, Trinitarian uh, traditional formula is. In the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, the name of God the Holy Spirit. It is not wrong to be baptized using that formula. That's a traditional formula, the traditional uh, formula. And, but the other formula used also, which is also a traditional formula, is repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna baptize using this formula, you are not wrong. But don't bash persons 
who baptized using the traditional Trinitarian uh, formula in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. They are not wrong. Acts 10 um, verse 48, as I mentioned previously, he commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It is not wrong. But ladies and gentlemen, this is very important for you to note. Hallelujah. It's worth noting that some denomination may, uh, they may use different wording or emphasis, right? They may emphasize di uh, a different aspect of baptism. So they may use different wording and they may emphasize different aspect of baptism. But the, tri the Trinitarian, those of us who believe in the Father, who believe in the Son, and who believe in the Holy Spirit, uh, the Trinitarian formula is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is the most widely and accepted uh, traditional formula used in Christian baptism. So don't allow anybody to be pouring it down your throat that if you don't baptize in Jesus' name, you're not baptized. And if you just baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you're not baptized. Don't allow them to confuse you. Both formulas are correct. So if you are baptized based on the Great Commission that Jesus had said, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, you are correct you are baptized and if you just baptize in the name of jesus christ you are baptized both formula are correct but i prefer to stick to the one that is traditionally used by the church in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit what i do however in order to you know because some persons they are very stubborn some persons are very stubborn and they're very rude. So in order for, in order not to offend them, when I am baptizing, I say, I hereby baptize you in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And then I baptize the person upon the confession of their faith in Jesus Christ. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, it depends on your interpretation of the Great Commission and of what was said in the book of Acts. Both are correct, but and, and don't allow anybody to tell you that you're not baptized if you don't baptize using, using the second formula. There are two formulas used in um, baptism, and, and it also depends on how persons interpret the Great Commission, what was uh, commanded in the Great Commission, and also in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, Acts chapter, Acts chapter 16, sorry, Acts chapter 8, verse 16, and Acts chapter 10, verse 48. It all depends on how you interpret these things. If you use any of these formula in baptism, you are, you are correct. You are not in the wrong. So don't allow anybody to say any foolishness in your ears that if you don't use, uh, if you don't baptize using the formula in the name of, I baptize in the name of Jesus, you're not baptized. Whether you use the, the, the formula that says I hereby baptize you, the traditional formula that says I hereby baptize you in the name of the Father or of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, or you use the one that says I, upon the confession of your faith, I hereby baptize you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Both formulas are okay. Both are correct. God bless you, everybody. Thank you for listening. Hallelujah. It's a pleasure talking to you. The, and, and you can always, any questions or so, you can WhatsApp or call me, one 8 one eight seven six four one eight three four two four. God bless you, everybody. Have a good and godly day. Keep the Holy Ghost fire burning and keep focus. Remain strong. Remain steadfast. Remain unshakable. Remain unmovable. I'm gonna do a next topic about divorce and remarriage. Stay tuned. I'm gonna do some research on it and I'm gonna get back to you, even though I already have my opinion about it. 
God bless you. Have a good and godly day.